The Battle of Cridia Vineyard was fought during the Gallipoli Campaign during the First World War. It was originally intended as a minor British action at Hellas on the Gallipoli Peninsula to divert attention from the imminent launch of the August Offensive, but instead, the British commander, Brigadier General H. E. Street, mounted a futile and bloody series of attacks that in the end gained a small patch of ground known as the Vineyard. Chapter 1, Prelude The original commander of the British Eight Corps at Hellas, Lieutenant General Aylmer Hunter Weston, had departed the peninsula in July, following the last Hellas offensive, the Battle of Gully Ravine. His replacement, Lieutenant General Francis Davis, arrived in early August but had not yet assumed command of the Corps when a series of diversions were due to be launched from Anzac and Hellas to divert Ottoman attention from the planned landing at Suvla, and the breakout from Anzac. Consequently, the Hellas diversion was planned and conducted by the 8th Corps Chief of Staff, Brigadier General H. E. Street, who proved himself an able student of Hunter Weston's battle strategy. Chapter 2, Battle Due to a shortage of artillery, the attack was split into two parts with the 88th Brigade of the 29th Division attacking on the afternoon of 6 August while the 125th and 127th Brigades of the 42nd Division would attack early the following morning. The 52nd Infantry Division, and the 63rd Division in Corps Reserve. They were facing four Ottoman divisions, three of which were fresh, while there were two more divisions in reserve. The 88th Brigade's attack managed to capture some Ottoman trenches, which were recaptured by the Ottoman 30th Regiment during a counter attack. The British attacked again, and once more captured some trenches, but the Ottomans counter attacked again and drove them out. The British failed to hold any ground and the 88th Brigade reported casualties of 1,905 men, effectively destroying them as a fighting force. At around 9.40 am on the morning of 7 August the 42nd Division attacked on the right of the 88th Brigade's sector. The 127th Brigade managed to break through the line held by the Ottoman 13th Division, but were forced back by an Ottoman counter-attack. The Ottomans counter-attacked repeatedly from 7 August to the 9th of August and the fighting in the area continued until 13 August when it finally subsided. Afterwards, this sector of the Hellas front would remain one of the busiest and most violent for the remainder of the campaign. Chapter 3, Aftermath Two Victoria Crosses were awarded during the fighting at Cridia Vineyard. Lieutenant William Thomas Forshaw of the 19th Battalion Manchester Regiment, Territorial Force, of the 42nd Division, and Private David Ross Lauder of the 1 Quarter Royal Scots Fusiliers, Territorial Force, of the 52nd Division. The British casualties in the first 24 hours of fighting, covering the original attacks of the 88th Brigade and the 125th and 127th Brigades of the 42nd Division, were 3,469. The total British casualties for the duration of the battle were probably in excess of 4,000. The Ottoman casualties for the period of the battle were estimated to be around 7,500. As for the other diversion at Lone Pine, the attack failed to fulfill its goal of tying down the Ottoman reinforcements away from the main offensive. As early as the morning of 7 August, regiments were being dispatched from Hellas to the main front in the Sari Bear Range.